I'm back on again with another video. Now, I've been telling the people that, you know, since they pull off this pandemic and it's successful, 100% successful, they have another agenda coming up real soon. As you can see, NASA and so-called SpaceX telling the masses that they're going out of space, even going back to the moon. But what I'm going to tell you right here, people, you need to pay attention. They're going to tell you that an alien invasion is coming. No doubt. That's what they're going to do. They're talking about meteoroids coming close to Earth and aliens. We go get to that and break it down. There's a reason why the History Channel and them, Smithsonian and them, step up with this alien bullshit and the masses. We go get into it because all of it is our agenda. Run it. June 6th, 2019. June 6th, that's the coding. 6-6 six, six right there in coding. Mm -hmm. The scientific journal, Current Biology, mm -hmm. reports that biologists at the University of Rochester mm -hmm. have... So and don't trust no scientists, you hear me? Once you hear the scientists, you know what it is. It's covering up a lie. That's all it is. The name science is to cover up lies on this earth. The mystery of the P. aphid. Mm -hmm. A tiny sap-sucking insect mm -hmm. that is normally wingless. Mm -hmm. but Listen to this right here, people. Pay attention. ...automatically develops wings mm -hmm. when it needs to seek out new plants to colonize. Mm -hmm. What they found is that the genes that form the on-off switch for wings mm -hmm. belong to a virus. Remember, this is what they show you for a virus. Mm-hmm. Not exactly what they show you for the coronavirus. It got some, some pyramid looking thing on, on the so-called coronavirus. But it's the same thing they show you for viruses. It's the same thing they show you for damn planets. This one only got spurs on it. Same spinning ball. The genome of Here which has become spinning. fully incorporated into mm -hmm. that of its host. Oh, shit. Mm -hmm. The researchers suggest that while this is beneficial to the aphid, mm -hmm. it is actually the virus that induces wing development in order to spread itself around. Mm -hmm. You hear that? <laughs> They're talking about these insects that grow wings when it's time for them to colonize. <laughs> they don't have wings, period, but they only grow wings when they need to use it. And I told you people, they just bullshitting with the animals and the insects. Basically telling you all this garbage, tell you how they operate, how they think and everything. You believe them? Them on. Bullshit. Similarly, it was also found in 2019 mm -hmm. that many wasps carry a virus that increases their longevity, enabling mm -hmm. the virus to be all spread. Bullshit people, bullshit and animation. The same thing they give you with NASA is the same thing the scientists give you and call it virus. Spinning balls. Further, viruses sort of straddle our concepts of living or non-living because they require a host in order to reproduce themselves mm -hmm. and also to, to create, carry out any life functions. So they can't, um, they can't metabolize or they have to rely on a host cell to do that and to make copies of themselves there as well. There you go, people. There you go. This more look like the coronavirus. They show you this right here for the COVID-19 already. There you go right there, people. Watch this. On its own, a virus is inert. It only comes to life and is able to reproduce once it comes in contact with a host. Wow. Like the viruses themselves, mm -hmm. if extraterrestrials are altering humans, wow. is it perhaps to further their own species? There you go, people. It all lead to what? Aliens. Extraterrestrial. Wow. Wow. Do you believe them, people? Wow. Let's go back. Themselves. If extraterrestrials are altering humans, mm -hmm. is it perhaps to further their own species? Mm -hmm. Altering humans to further their own species. And the mass is going to take it and run because I told you. Remember this, people. You see, reality is simple. Real life is just simple and just there. It's nothing too much fascinated about it. So they have to give you fascination. You understand? All science fiction. That's why space sounds so good. A lot of people don't want to let it go. Flying rocks. Man can fly around in a suit in there. Of course. People fantasize those things. Including aliens. How the space and aliens is fantasy. And of course it sound good. Sound way way better than reality. Sound good. There you go. Are they slowly transforming us into new incarnations of themselves? Mm -hmm. Not to advance humankind. Mm -hmm. But their own kind. Yes and of course. They always know what the aliens look like. Same thing as TV show you. Of course. That's why I tell you man. The Hollywood is most of what people have in their head. They, even dinosaurs. How they know what a dinosaur look like again? How? Jurassic Park and them? How do you know what a dinosaur supposedly looked like after millions and millions of years ago? It's bullshit, people. Just wake up. Perhaps. Mm -hmm. 
But some ancient astronaut theorists suggest that as is the case with the aphid and also the wasp, this process might be mutually beneficial. One theory is that these extraterrestrial visitors, mm -hmm. they are a dying race. Mm -hmm. and the there you go, people, just like a movie plot. The aliens is a dying race. And guess what they want? They want something from the earthlings to basically carry on and further their life. You believe it, people? There you go. They are injecting new genetic material, which will help save them. Wow. Another related theory is let's take human DNA, let's take alien DNA, and let's create something wow. even better. And don't worry about it. The only manipulation of the human being DNA done by man right here on Earth. That's what they do manipulating your dna and i always tell the people and a lot of people say no mag you're crazy but i told you they're the one who make your dna what it is you understand what you eat is what you are all right bam on i think that humankind has been part of a and, and if you trust this guy right here wow you're dumb I already told you, all of them here to dumb down the masses, this weird looking character right here, all he gonna give you, so-called astronauts, so-called astronauts theories, or, or, or Asian astronauts theories, it's bullshit, all fucking fakery they bring to the masses, and most of the shit that you see them talk about, are hoaxes. Eternal experiment, something that's begun a long, long time ago. All of this shit that they show you, it's bullshit, 100% computer generation. Or you're gonna fucking get truth out of it. <laughs> wow. I think that this is an ongoing process. Now, figuring out what the change is, is your guess is as good as mine. If we find that viruses do come from spice, mm -hmm. wow. then we know that because... Viruses, and look what they show you. The one eye, and I told you people, my, almost every single movie in Hollywood feature this one eye. Almost every single one of them. You, if you watch in the movie and even on the cover. What do you think, people? One eye guard, they work. There is a relationship between viruses and evolution. That this evolution is another lie that man was monkey before they become man. And you believe it that monkey is still here alongside man? Wow. So you tell me a caterpillar turn into a butterfly, mm -hmm. and what happened? Huh? It's the same thing they tell you right here. So you telling me that man don't monkey don't turn into man no more? No, people, it's dumb shit. One hundred percent. Something that must be universal. Mm -hmm. It's something that connects us with every other possible life source mm -hmm. everywhere out there. Every it other possible, every other possible life source. No, people. First of all, I told you already, we locked in a dome. Nothing coming in, nothing going out. So where is the so-called aliens come from? How they be coming in and out of the earth? It's bullshit. Don't believe them, people. All of them fuckers that you see on TV, those are the real aliens. They dressed up like fucking something else, put on mask and everything, fooling the masses. What do you think? Those are the real aliens. You don't know who they are when they show up. Come on. Universe. Mm -hmm. There you go, people. That's what they're selling. Is it possible that the history of disease on our planet mm -hmm. is not only a human story, mm -hmm. but an extraterrestrial there one? Go, All right. There you go. You got it? Even the coronavirus, there you go, that they give you. Mm -hmm. Maybe coming from some aliens <laughs> from another planet. As ancient astronaut theorists are concerned, mm -hmm. the answer is a profound yes. Mm -hmm. And if such there a notion go. is true, they insist there that they so people they say it's true. <laughs> it's alien mixed up DNA make us right here. Mm -hmm. Alien infections mm -hmm. are not meant there to destroy go. us, but to serve as a kind of inoculation. Wow. A preparation for the day when wow. mankind comes face to face with its alien relatives. Bam! There you go. The day when man come face to face with the alien relative. And I saw you. Time one and them produce these shits right here all over TV for the dumb masses. They own the Smithsonian. They own the history. They own the science. All of them belongs to the same people. Time one, even the weather channel. All they bring you is fakery. Wow, bam! Monolo See what they're dwelling? The ball earth spinning around with mostly water on it and the dumb people buy it. From there, show you this, don't take nothing from them. 
at the Big Island. This active volcano is one of the largest in the world and is estimated to... I always tell the masses this. Don't never believe in no volcano. Melted rocks? I don't think so. There is no heat on earth that can melt no rocks. Get the fuck out of here. You're telling me that this shit is bubbling up like soup right there? Get out of here. It's trash for the dumb people. Been erupting for at Break least 700,000 years. Not what? And is estimated to have been erupting for at least 700,000 years. Oh, 700,000 years. How they know that, people? The normal human being never lived to see 200 years old. How the fuck did they know this right here? Dumb on, don't take nothing from them that they're telling you about these long time ago when no human being can confirm. Dumb on. Not far from Mauna Loa is the Kilauea hotspot that bullshit. continues to spew lava to Kilauea. this day. Lava running like water, like a river. Melted rocks, people. Wow, what kind of temperature they use to melt rocks and it running right here in air and it still don't harden? I already told you, the harder something is to melt, it's easier for it to dry and get back hard. You got it? Any kind of hair catcher shit is supposed to freeze back up because it takes a lot of temperature, high, high, high temperature to melt it. And I don't believe in melting rocks, period. That, but simple. perhaps the most significant mm -hmm. aspect of Mauna Loa mm -hmm. is its location on planet Earth. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Now, one of the critical things to keep in mind is mm -hmm. that the Mauna Loa volcano, in particular, mm -hmm. is located at 19.47 latitude mm -hmm. All in the north. Shit. There you go, people, with the spinning ball right there, and the masses take shoot from them. Once they show you this is over, you hear me? Once they show you that you're living on a spinning ball, still gotta use a level and a plumb to build a house, and you believe that you're living on a spinning ball of water. Do you ever see a water with a hump in it? Remember what happened, people. The water take the shape of its container. You never see the water float all the way up and pass the container and make a hump. You ever see that? That's dumb shit for the dumb Hemisphere. Masses. There you go. That area sitting on 19.47 is called Kela Kukua, mm -hmm. which means pathway of the gods. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They like to talk about the gods because I already told you. Once they tell you about the gods, don't take no fucking God from them. You understand? They're talking about the devils 100% in. According to ancient astronaut theorists, mm -hmm. natural formations and structures found at a latitude of 19.5 degrees mm -hmm. form a kind of a pattern, what mm -hmm. some refer to as cosmic geometry. Wow, all bullshit. The pyramid mm -hmm. of the sun at Teotihuacan mm -hmm. is at 19... I already told you about these pyramids. What you think they are? Devil worship sites. They got devil monuments. They build them. And they tell you, oh, we're sitting there for thousands and thousands of years. We don't know who built them. If it's an alien, come down and build it. Dumb shit for the dumb masses. The same elite peoples right here that run the world. They're the one who built that shit there. You understand? That's how they fool the dumb 0. people. 0.5 degrees. So is Easter they Island. Go, all of them. Every fucking thing you see in the world, they make it and lie to the masses. Remember, most of them they discovered just the other day. <laughs> Most of them they tell you they discovered the other day, but it's there for thousands and thousands, even millions of years ago. They're full of shit on the masses. Wake up. The hurricane belt. Mm -hmm. But most importantly, the Kilauea volcano in Hawaii is also located at 19.5 degrees. Bullshit. Perhaps even more mm -hmm. profound than the pattern found here on Earth mm -hmm. is the one found on other planets in our solar system. There you go, on Mars. They're exploring other planets. You believe them? I already told you you can't get out of Earth. The planet shit just don't make no sense to people with brain. It's garbage. For example, we find the Mons Olympus volcano, the largest mm -hmm. volcano in our solar system, is located at 19.5 degrees. Mm -hmm. The Where giant red spot on Jupiter is on at 19. Jupiter. There you go, people. There you go right there. The largest volcano in our solar system is on Jupiter. This is what they show you for a planet. A spinning fucking ball with all these colors swirl and the masses bite. You bite? Why? Is it real? Of course it's not real. Dumb on. 0.5 degrees. Everything in the universe is mm -hmm. geometric. Mm -hmm. Your physical body, physical cells, mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. tree, the buildings, everything mm -hmm. is geometric. All bullshit for the dumb masses. And if you're buying to that, 
you will buy into the rest of the dumb shit coming from these ancient so-called astronaut theorists. They're full of shit. Sacred geometry is the pattern in which these geometries are organized according to ratios and proportions. Bullshit. Now, when you say something is organized, it imp- see them. <laughs> All they want to give you is a damn now, when you say- song right there. There you go with the diamonds in the damn pyramid. Something is right organized. Mm-hmm. It implies that there is a cosmic intelligence behind it. Mm-hmm. One of the most important shapes in sacred geometry, Diamond. and one that also mm-hmm. has a connection to the 19.5 latitude, mm-hmm. is the three sided pyramid. There you no- go, the three sided pyramid. What do you think, people? Why do you think the devil were connected to this pyramid right here? You never understand. They use it to run a lot of hoax on the masses. There you go. Even the so called Bermuda Triangle. Is a shout out to the same pyramid that you see on the money with the eye in it. Bam on. As the tetrahedron. Mm-hmm. When you have two tetrahedrons inverted over one another, bullshit. that forms a star oh, tetrahedron. Bullshit. There you go. Mm-hmm. When we look at the fucking pyramids, one up, one down, so above, so below. A star tetrahedron mm-hmm. and where it fits inside of a sphere, mm-hmm. the vertices of a star tetrahedron mm-hmm. impact the sphere at 19.5 latitude, mm-hmm. both yeah, north and south. And that All is. All of it that connect to the ball earth 100 percent bullshit and the masses once you buy the spinning ball they can sell you anything anything exactly where the big island of hawaii is in relationship to the entire planet because of the planet's geometry you're going to have hot spots that would be very strongly charged in such a way that you could there use you these hot spots there you go people what is this they're showing you again a spaceship <laughs> okay. To teleport from, mm-hmm. one mm-hmm. oh. from one point to the other, or from one point to the other, or these hot spots could be used for intergalactic travel wow. or interplanetary wow. travel. There you go, people. This is what they're selling the masses right here on TV. All this alien and space dumb shit, one hundred percent bullshit. And I told you, they're prepping you up for the so-called alien invasion. Yes, another psyop that coming up for the dumb masses who believe in anything they show on TV. I told you, knowledge is key and you need to know it to stay afloat in this satanic earth. Catch me on the run. I'm gone.